Thank you all for joining today. Thank you so much. Let me flip the screen real quick. So this is Yusuf Chowdhury. Hmm, let me fix my hair. Okay, so, so today is another workshop. Hey, Nika, how you doing? This is a workshop uh, presented by Bernadette. She's a WordPress developer. Uh, hey, Rocky, how you doing? So it's like an ADHD, like, hey, hello, hey, hello, okay. So it's gonna be a workshop, so I won't be able to engage with you guys. So Bernadette will show you how to use the X theme. If you go to themeforest.net, uh, this is one of the popular theme. It's a premium theme. It's called X theme, and she'll talk about it. So here we go, folks. Let me go ahead and flip the screen, and I'm going to show you. Uh, flip, flip. There you go. That's Bernadette. All right. So there you go. Let me make sure that the screen is clear, closer to the. There you go. There you go. All right. Y'all enjoy the show. Okay. If you have any question, leave the question. I'll answer them later. All right. Thank you for that. Um, everybody, welcome. I uh, really appreciate you guys being here. Um, and of course, I want to thank uh, Yusuf for um, kind of organizing this here for me. So I'm going to be talking about uh, the X theme and why is probably the world's greatest theme as far as I'm concerned, of course. Now, um, before I get started, does anybody here um, have experience with the X theme or know anything about it or even heard about it? You a little bit? I haven't. Okay, you have it? Okay. Okay, cool. So are you guys liking it so far? Or? No use for it. You got no use for it? Okay, well hopefully after this you'll have a use for it. Okay, so um, I would appreciate it uh, if you had learned something from this presentation and if you want to go ahead and tweet, uh, my handle is at Bernadetta and then design without the I. And of course I will be using my website that I have, uh, which is done in, X, in the X theme. I will go ahead and use that as kind of like a presentation on uh, some of the uh, awesome tools that the X team has. Okay. Okay. So first, um, we're going to go ahead and talk about statistics. Now, before I get started, uh, please do download the presentation from the files because I do have quite a few links, and they're, they're kind of long. So you you might want to go ahead and download it and uh, and have a copy of it. All right. So let's go uh, go ahead and start up with uh, statistics. Now, um, as of this month, uh, the company that produces the X theme, it's called ThemeCo, they have over 75,000 in sales. Now, I've done this presentation, I think it was, uh, I did it last week, so I'm sure it's grown since then. So they have a lot of sales. Now, whenever you are choosing a theme, obviously you're looking at the users, uh, what they have to say, and what the rating, and um, basically if anybody has anything uh, bad to say about it. And they have a 4.71 out of 5, which is really good as far as like themes because everybody, like a lot of times they, they want to say something negative about it. But uh, frankly, I haven't been able to find anything negative about the X theme. So that's, that's pretty good as well. And that was over like 3,500 uh, ratings. This, is, this was created in November 2013. And I think I've been using it since I think of February of uh, this year. So I've been using it uh, for a few months. Now this theme uh, can be purchased from ThemeForest and we'll talk a little bit about where you can uh, get it from later on. Okay, so what makes this great? So these are just, just a handful of things that, um, that I found makes the X theme great. Now a couple of things that I haven't put in here is the documentation. They have amazing documentation. Like for example, for me, when I first started, I wanted to customize some things. I just wanted to uh, add some CSS, and it was very easy to find um, online just some uh, some code snippets that I could put for the CSS. So just that alone really impressed me because um, it, it showed me exactly what to put it and, and how to use it and all that. And of course, every time they come up with something new or they, um, they come up with some new tools. They have some great documentation on how to use it and uh, just basically just some helpful hints on how you can use it as well. So let's start with, uh, with Stacks. Now what makes Xtheme really different from all the other ones is a thing called Stacks. And these are, it allows you to have a different look for your, your site. Normally when you get a theme, you can, um, you can change the color, you can change where things are arranged, but the, the look is gonna be kind of similar 
for, for everybody, kind of similar. But with the stacks though, you can have a choice of four different stacks. And we'll go through some of the, the demos that they showed and you'll see how extremely different they are. So it's like basically having like four themes in one. But and just, uh, just also be aware that the X theme, you can only use it on one website though. You can't just purchase it and use it uh, on other uh, websites. You can only use it on one, unfortunately. Another thing is the extensions are what we're used to known as uh, plugins. They have like Slider Revolution, MailChimp, and it's all for free. And I'll go a little bit more into detail on the different extensions that they have. But I was really impressed with that because uh, some of these plugins are kind of expensive. You know, some of them can be between $5, $15, $20. So the, the, the fact that they have all of these extensions for you for free, I think it's worth the, the money that they charge. They also have a long list of short codes. So who here knows what a short code is? Okay, uh, a short code is just um, a kind of a, a little bit of code and you can tell, and I'll show you guys an example of this as well, but you can tell, tell it's a short code um, because it has brackets on it. And this just adds other additional functionality to your site. So um, they do have uh, this great page on their site that shows you the different uh, short, uh, short codes and you can copy and paste but now with the new uh, tools that they have on the theme, you kind of don't need it. But, and I'll show you guys all of that as well. But just know that it has a really long list of shortcodes that you can use to add more functionality to your site. So um, I kind of like to think of them kind of like as like a little mini plugin. Um, you can add different uh, stuff to it. Now the best thing for me that I absolutely just love is Cornerstone and this uh, it's actually, it hasn't been with them for very long. Maybe, I think since, since May maybe. This is, the Cornerstone is a very easy preview editor. Uh, so you can design your site. I mean, I'm telling you, you go into Cornerstone and you're really just dragging and dropping. I mean, it's that easy uh, how to actually build a website. It's extremely easy. And I'll show you guys uh, some of that as well. And because there's a lot of stacks and a lot of, extensions and short codes you have a lot of ways to customize this theme it's, it's amazing all the customization you can do on it another cool thing that I found is um, using cornerstone you can affect the visibility of a certain elements on your site so let's just say that you have uh, you created this awesome website on your uh, your desktop but then you go into the mobile device and you see it's like, well, I have the slider, but it's really so small on a mobile. I don't want to see it on a mobile device. I'm telling you with Cornerstone, it's so simple to just hide it from uh, the mobile devices. And I'll show you guys an example of that as well. But I, I mean, it couldn't possibly be any easier. In addition to all of that, you also have just demos that you can play around with. Now, before we go into too much about demos, I do want to give you guys a little caveat on the demos though. You definitely don't want to download demos if you already have a, a well-built site and you have a lot of content and a lot of pages, because unfortunately with the demos, it will replace some of your settings. Override. It will override some of your settings. So be very careful with the demos. Now, I've never downloaded a demo from the X theme, but I have downloaded demos before in, uh, in, another, in another theme. And I was kind of, I was happy and disappointed all at the same time, if you can believe that. I was disappointed because it added a whole bunch of like pictures and uh, sound and video that I literally had to go back in and each individual one and take it out. But it was a good thing because whatever I saw on their website, it, uh, it put it on my website and all I had to do was replace the content. So that was pretty good, pretty good as far as that was concerned. But I would be very careful when you're downloading the demos on that. Along with the regular demos, they just recently came out with extensive demos. And these um, are for specific niches. So let's just say that you're doing a website for a church. You can download 
the, the demo for churches, and I'll show you guys this as well. You can uh, download that demo, and basically you already have a site that all literally all you have to do is change the content. That's really all you have to do. It's, it's that cool. And of course, there's also templates, okay? Now, um, before I go any further, um, this theme, of course, is not for everybody. You know, let, let's, uh, let's be real about this. If you only have one page, if you are gonna do a website, and you're only gonna do one page, and you're just gonna have a, a little bit of text and a little bit of images, this theme may not be the best thing for you because it has a lot of stuff that you can do with it. And frankly, I, I think you would be wasting your money if that's all you're gonna be used it for. You can just get a free theme for that. So if you just have like a one pager with just a little bit of text and a little bit of something, this may not be the, uh, the best thing for you. Also, um, because this theme does have a little bit of a learning curve, just at least in the very beginning, if you have never played with themes, if you're still kind of new to WordPress, then I would suggest you play around with free themes first and get used to how they work and how WordPress works before you actually commit to the X theme and paying the, the money. Because right now, I believe it's like $64 uh, for, for the theme itself. Now, this is definitely for people who like a lot of choices. Now, um, I've heard some people say, it's like, you know, I just want a theme that uh, gives me just a few things, but I don't want to be overwhelmed with choices. And that's fine, you know, if you don't like a lot of choices, you know, that's fine as well. But me personally, I like to have a website that's different from everybody else's. I don't like to have something that's, you know, the, the same as everybody. So I like having a lot of choices. And also come to find out uh, that some of the themes that I have played with in the past, they, they didn't have all the choices that I wanted, so I had to do a lot of CSS on it to, to get it to kind of looking the way I want. So uh, that, that was just frustrating to me. So, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start talking about stacks. Uh, stacks are, uh, by definition, there are multiple designs in one package. And then within those, you have a lot of options to customize it. And you're gonna have um, a hard time finding, you know, two sites that are, look the same. So you have the integrity, renew, icon, and ethos. Those are the four different uh, uh, stacks that you can choose from. Integrity is all purpose. Renew, which is flat, no borders or shadows, and this is the one that I use for my website. Icon, which is clean, minimal and modern, and ethos, which is news and magazines. So let me go ahead and show you guys a, a, a few examples. Login, which we usar para ethos. I mean para for blogging? blogging? Well, uh, the stacks, you're gonna pick one that's gonna be good for your entire website. So if, if you're only doing a blog, which is like one page, then uh, the XD might be kind of overkill. Yeah. But if you have your blog already in your website, then it's really up to you what, what type of look yeah, you're looking for. Yeah. Okay, so let me go over to the stacks. Okay, so here's the stacks. Now, um, the one website that I highly recommend you guys go, if you are thinking of purchasing the X theme, is called theme.co forward slash X. And this, this link is, is on the PowerPoint presentation. But this one will give you, I mean, absolutely everything you need to know about the X theme. They will tell you what features they have, what the short codes are. They'll give you everything that you need on it. So let me show you guys a few examples. So let's start with integrity, for example. You click on integrity, okay. It has some, uh, this page here will show you what kind of options you can get. It will tell you what you can use it for. It gives you like a professional portfolio design. So basically just look through all of that and just to see is like if that's something that you're interested in. But the, the thing that I like the best is like they show you the demonstrations on what each of the stacks look like. 
So since we're doing integrity, let's take a look at the main demo. Just click on that. And as you can see, this is a site done, done with the integrity. You see that has like a, it's a really cool website with some uh, circles coming in. The, it shows you the extensions. It's a, basically, it's a really nice website, but this is just one look. So it, it tells you what kind of layouts. It gives you even a little pop-up here. So while you, when you're deciding on which one that you, you're going to want, go ahead and take a look at the main menu and see if this is something that you're interested in. Or uh, you can also choose another one. So let's just take a look at another one here. So they have different demos and you can see just by the demos how different this side is from the other side. And this, we're only talking about the first tag. So even within the stacks, you can make the sites really different. And see this one here is completely different from, from the other one. But just know that if you like the way this website is designed, then go ahead and choose the integrity uh, stack. And I'll show you guys how to, how to choose that from uh, the dashboard. If we see the integrity, Joe, we see each track, you can pick up one of that one only after that you choose the integrity or the other ones? I mean, you cannot jump between one Yeah, them. you can, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you uh, if you do the the integrity mm -hmm. one and you're like, I okay, I, I don't li like it, I wanna go to ethos, then you can switch it in the dashboard. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely do that. But um, before you com uh, commit on one, just go ahead and look through all the de demos here. Ethos, however, doesn't have a lot. But uh, just look through this and what's really cool, it shows you what the short codes they have, what extensions they have. I will go through that in, the, in another slide. But um, okay, so the renew, let's go ahead and take a look at what they have that. And like I said, this is the, the, website, the, the stack that I'm using on my website. And see this one, again, completely different. You can see what features it has, it look, uh, how it's gonna look. And this also is really good for you to go through the different demos, just so you can get kind of an idea of what your site uh, might look like. Like if you like a certain element on one of the uh, the stacks, you know, just go ahead and um, then figure out how you were gonna incorporate that on your website. So that's Renew. Now we're gonna go to Icon. Let's take a look at their main demo. And see this, again, completely different. You have uh, different short codes here, and in the short codes, you can uh, customize differently based on whichever stack that you choose from. So yeah, I would highly recommend uh, just go ahead and go through all of these. Like Ethos, this is the one that looks a little bit uh, a lot more different. This, uh, what's up here? These are yeah, the blogs, the blog posts. So again, these are like really nice. I mean, all of these, all of these are nice. Okay, and just to show you guys my website, my, my website was done with Renew. So I have a little slider here. Here, I got a portfolio. That gave you the background too. No, I, yeah, I did the background, but yeah, the but it just, other. yeah, okay. what it did uh, do for me, which uh, the one that I really liked a lot, this does a lot of uh, different bubbles, I'm sorry, the connection is a little bit slow, so, so see the, these bubbles here? This, this is a, a thing with, uh, with the X-Team. And I really liked how you hover over something and it gives you a little descriptor. So I really like that, that feature. Okay. So any questions about the stacks? Does everybody kind of have an idea of what the stacks are? It's just like having different, different themes all within the one theme. And if you have downloaded the presentation, 
you got, uh, can access the same websites that I just um, showed you right, right here in the bottom. And I also included this, um, this other one. Oh. Okay, so there, there's even more stack examples. So if you just click on any of these, so we can go to one. And this is what uh, other people that are using the X team, this is what their sites look like. How do you find those? How do you, How do you find what they're using? The, uh, their website. Like I said, the, the website is oh, like, on yeah, oh, wow. the, on their website it has all of these links. Yeah. They just give you a plethora of yeah. just information. Cool. Yeah. And this was just only like a very short list. I will show you guys later on like a really even bigger list of things that you can do with it. And this is good just so you can just really just get an idea of what you want on your site. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to extensions or um, most of us are familiar with that. We also call them plugins. Okay, so for that, let me go ahead and take you guys to my dashboard. Okay, so this is the dashboard here for my website. So to, to get the, the extensions, you're gonna go, you see this, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you may not be able to see it, hold on. Darn it, hold on one second. Let me make it so you guys can see it better. Okay, okay, there we go. So now you're gonna see under the dashboard, now analytics, it doesn't have anything to do with Xteam, but the add-ons, you see X and add-ons here. And then you go over to extensions. That's where you find uh, all the different extensions and plugins. As you can see, I have Cornerstone, which this is the design builder. And it's so easy to install it. You just go in here and all you gotta do is click install the, the plugin. You don't have to go and find it. You don't have to worry about, you know, okay, am I actually choosing the right plugin uh, versus one from another or which company? You don't have to worry about any of that. Everything's already here. So th these are all the ones that you can choose from. So let me just go a little bit uh, into detail. You have, uh, you can do custom 404 pages. All you have to do is install that. You can, if you don't like the way the, uh, the WordPress deals with comments you can go ahead and install other types of the way of displaying comments like discus and facebook comments you can do all that uh, and mailchimp i'm sure um, uh, some of you have heard about mailchimp yeah, which is um, it's uh, uh, good for creating custom up and forms in a very easy way and that's that's for free you don't have to pay for it google analytics it's in here and um, all arc integration, and this is for if you wanna if you have the the type of website where you need to interact with your clients via chat, then you can uh, install that. And of course, the slider revolution is probably, in my opinion, is one of the the best uh, slider revolution sliders out there. It's very easy to do. Now, whenever they first came up with um, this particular plugin. I was very leery about it because it was really complicated. But then, since then, they updated it, and now it's so much easier to take care of. You have terms of use, an under construction plugin that you can install, oh, a video uh, lock. Now, this one I actually saw a website that had a video lock, and I don't know if I particularly cared for it because. The, it showed the video, but it didn't have any controls to it. I couldn't pause it. I couldn't, uh, you know, rewind it. So I don't know if that's just what the person actually decided not to put in there, or if it's a video lock feature. Now, Visual Composer. Uh, I'm not going to really talk about Visual Composer because this is actually uh, their previous design plugin. So before they had Cornerstone, they had Visual Composer. And this took the place over, you know, the, the editor and the visual that it comes already with WordPress. It was, when I first saw it, it was really interesting because 
it was pretty easy to create uh, columns and to add the different elements. So it was good in that uh, sense, but it was kind of problematic because I couldn't see what I was doing. I added stuff and then I would have to update the page and then I would have to go to the website to be able to see what I just did. So um, even though I still have that active, they are actually, they replaced the visual composer with Cornerstone. Okay. Now what, what they're suggesting to everybody is to go ahead, if you already have your pages done in visual composer, to switch it to the uh, to Cornerstone. But if you guys are starting off with a, uh, with a new site and um, you don't have anything already done, then you don't have to worry about it. But just know that Visual Composer is kind of on its last legs as far as the X team is, is concerned. They're actually going to be taking it out and they're recommending people to use Cornerstone. As a matter of fact, they even say it here. They said that they recommend uh, you mm -hmm. use it for page building. Yeah. Okay. So any questions about the extensions? Everybody pretty clear? And you can see it's right here and it's really very easy to... Um, the content dot. Yeah, content dot. It's a tool that allows you to place content or marketing offers in front of your users. But you can change fonts or something like this with. You know, I'm not people. sure. I haven't been playing around with content dot. So. How will I change typography there? Typography on the X theme? Yeah, fonts. Suppose that I don't like the fonts. Oh, the, the, it works just like uh, all the other themes. Uh, you go to oh, the the custom the customizer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you change it there. Okay. So now we're gonna to go to short codes. So besides the standard short codes that you get in preview themes, you also get, uh, like I was talking to you guys later, or earlier, the responsive vis visibility, the accordion menus, tab content, animated skill bar, and each stack has its own unique styling for each short code. Okay, so right now that doesn't mean anything. So let me show you guys some cool stuff. Okay, okay so here's the other uh, short codes. So you go to this website here, and again, to access this website, all you have to do is go to the, uh, on my PowerPoint and just click that right there. Okay. So here's the, uh, the short codes. So if you look through all of this, this is everything that you can put on your website. And if you are a website developer and you actually like playing with the code, it actually gives you what the code is supposed to look like right in here. So let's just say that you want to know, like, okay, I want to know what an accordion is. So you could, uh, you click on accordion and you can interact with it and to see if this is something that you want to put on your site. So, so you have you can click on it, so this might be good. Like if you are trying to describe like some services that you offer, this might be a good thing to use. And again, here's the code. But you know, now with Cornerstone, you don't even have to worry about putting in the code because it will do all of this for you. It's just the people who did the X team, they just wanted to make sure that they give you all of the information. And uh, for those of you that don't know what a short code is, you see this right here? That's a short code and it begins with a bracket. And if you guys know HTML, um, it, it kind of is organized a little bit like HTML. You have like, uh, it starts in the beginning, then you add stuff in the middle, and then it ends with a slash. Slash and then the accordion one. So it starts with accordion and ends with a slash accordion. So let's take a look at some other shortcuts that they, uh, they have here. Now I will go a little bit more in detail on what each of these look like when we get to Cornerstone. So, that, that you'll be able to see it. So this, this, basically these shortcuts are already made for you? Yes, yes, it's already made for you. It's just adding uh, additional uh, functionality to your site, like okay. the, the accordion, or if you want it to... I want to show an album with photo that I took for an event the last week. Yeah, um, I think they have something like, like that. Photos. Yeah, like um, the content band, I think it might be something like that will be something like a gallery yeah like i said they have so many short codes just go through it and Are they, they all on that one very thin all of the short codes so they they're all there on that one on the uh yes the new page yeah so once you decide on which stack you want then go to that particular um 
website for that particular stack, and you'll see all of their short codes right over here. Yeah, they're good for all the stacks, right? Yes, yes, they're good for all the stacks. The only thing is that they say that um, you can customize it differently depending on which stack you have. Uh, yeah. So it's just a different customization. But yeah, they, they, they should all be the same. Let's see, what was something else? Like, uh, I don't know, images would be a good one too. And shows you that you can have a rectangular one. And see, this is the one that I was using. It will turn any image you have circular or oval. <coughs> you have one to load a, a little video, like a two minute, three minute video, video. Uh, How you load a, a video cortito? Well, if you're doing a YouTube video, you no longer need like any plugins or anything like that. All you need is just the the URL, and you plug it in into your 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 page, and it already picks it up for you. YouTube, but yeah, for YouTube and Vimeo. It's coming on Vimeo too. Okay? Yeah, and it does Vimeo as well. Yeah. Is uh, there is a shortcode for as well? Oh, I'm sure there is. Like yeah. I said, there there's so many. The sponsored video. Yeah, there you go. So let's take a look at that one. Yeah. Video in there. Right, responsive video. So here it is. Wow. So here's the short code for the video itself. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, but because of the new new version of WordPress, you no longer need a plugin for your YouTube. Yeah, drop the link. Yeah, you just drop the link in there and you're done. So. Let's see. Even simple things as a drop cap, for example. If you have a paragraph and you want to do a little drop yeah. cap, there you go. There's a short code for that. Yeah, but I do mine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, any questions about the short codes? Everybody yeah. pretty clear? The block grid, what, what do you do with that one? Let's take a look. Why? This is, would probably be to display some of your images. So, oh, you can change every one of those out different. Yeah. So if you wanted to, like, if you have a whole bunch of images to show, then this would be uh, might be a good way of, of displaying them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And see, this is why I was saying that the X team may not be necessarily good for somebody who only has like a, okay. just a one page because there is a lot for you to to kind of look around to see what they offer. So it's going to take a little bit of time for you to look through their websites, uh, just to basically just see what they offer, just that alone. The uh, and then of course learning how to um, how to incorporate all of this stuff here. Okay, so now my favorite part, cornerstone. So I'm going to show you guys cornerstone. Cornerstone here. We yes. Really like used to be Dreamweaver, kind of. <laughs> a little bit, like the design view in Dreamweaver. Yes, a little bit. Okay. But let me show you guys that because it, I mean. For me, that was a deal breaker right there. Okay, so for that, I created a, a page, and all of you guys know how to create a page. So I created a page exclusively for this meetup, so we can um, so we can go ahead and play around with it. Now, if you can see, whenever you install the X theme and you install the the plugin, because Cornerstone is technically a plugin, once you install it, you're gonna see like. On your pages you're going to see another option you do edit or edit with cornerstone and again but edit with visual composer just <coughs> ignore that i haven't taken the that plugin out yet but so you can either choose this one the edit here or you can choose edit with cornerstone what i do is i just click edit because a lot of times if i go and go into a page i may decide to uh, change some of the design or what i may do is um, add seo and stuff to it so if I click on here, and I'll show you guys that, it shows me the corner, the cornerstone um, part, but then it's gonna show me the, the SEO. And now, if I wanna go straight to cornerstone, then all I'm gonna do is just click edit with cornerstone. And it'll take me right to it. Yeah. So now as you can see, some of you guys may recognize kind of this layout uh, because the customizer is kind of like that a little bit. You have some options on the left and then you can make the, the changes and you see them on the right. Now, but before I go into kind of a demonstration mode on Cornerstone,
let me give you guys kind of another caveat on cornerstone the the problem and i'm hoping that they're going to fix this soon but the problem that i'm seeing with cornerstone right now is let's just say that you already have a page done and you know it's all formatted nice and neat and you did it either in the editor that comes with WordPress or you did it in Visual Composer. What can happen is once you switch it over to Cornerstone, it's a very good possibility that your content can be gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, because I, I had that problem with one page. Now, the, uh, they, they'll tell you. They'll tell you when there's, um, when like if you're going from one, uh, editor to another it'll tell you it's like hey you know there's a possibility that some of your content can be gone so they'll give you a warning before that that happens and uh, even if you go in there and you make a mistake or whatever just go ahead and cancel just don't go ahead and update it but this is only for the the people like me who have been using visual composure and now we have to go over to uh, cornerstone but if you're just starting out with the XD, you're starting out with a new uh, website you don't have to worry about that at all just know that if you are going from either editor or the visual composer, that there could be a, a little problem. So what I would suggest you do, obviously, make sure that your website is updated, or not updated. Backed up. Backed up, backed up. thank you. Make sure it's up, uh, backed up first. And then what I would even do even further is I would go into editor mode and just copy all of the code. And just for safety, you know. Okay, so. The, this is, uh, again, uh, this layout here for Cornerstone is really easy to deal with. The one thing you just have to remember about whenever you're using Cornerstone is you have to first start with a section. No matter what you do, no matter how many columns or how many rows you, you're going to eventually deal with, you have to first add a section. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now this here that you guys see, this welcome to Cornerstone, that actually is not, doesn't show up on your page. And it'll be replaced as soon as we add a section. So you're gonna go to this little hamburger looking menu thing here. This is for layout. And I'm gonna add a section. And as you can see, once I click on the add section, it already makes the changes on the very, on the right hand side. Okay. So now if I wanted to go ahead and add like more columns, more than just one columns. All I have to do is just click. Click on that, click on columns, and it, it changes, these options change. So now let's just say that I wanna go ahead and add um, three equal columns. Yeah, let's do like three equal columns. You just go to manage and you click on that and boom, there it is, there's your columns. Oh, I don't have to calculate the pixels. You don't have to do that, yeah. So all you did you do here is um, you have your column here. All you have to do is you can choose, and you can even if you want to even do it yourself. If you're good at math, then you can do it yourself as well. But I'm not good at math, so I just like choosing. So now that we have we have a section, and we have the columns. Now if you are doing a long page with a lot of different sections, what I do recommend is you go up here to. Why aren't you guys telling me that you can't see it? <laughs> okay, you go here. All right, so let's just say that you have a lot of different sections. You can just click on here and you can just replace it. And that way, whenever you're looking at all of your, um, your sections, you'll be able to choose the one that you're trying to modify instead of trying to figure out, it's like, okay, what's the section one, what's the section three? So you can go ahead and rename it. Okay, so all, all you're doing is just clicking. So if we wanna modify the, the section itself, like if we wanna add margins or padding, now this took me a little while to, uh, to understand because whenever I wanted to add some padding to my columns, I'm like, okay, where do I add that stuff? I thought I had to do some CSS, but no, all you do is under margin, you just type it in here. Five pixels. Yeah, or 20. You no. Know. So you can do the margins here, and you can do it a single, or you can do a double. And then you can add the padding, 
You can change the padding as well here. If you just want to do it for left side or for the right side, you can do that as well. And if you want to add a border, you, know, you can add a border there. If you want to select the color, go here and select whatever, whichever color you want. And then uh, the text within that section, you can uh, left, center, or however you want to align it. Can you put the picture? Mm -hmm. So now that, the, so the first thing you have to worry about is like, okay, your section. And then you have to worry about your columns. And then once you're done with your columns, then you go inside and add your elements inside of it. So that's what we're going to do now. And to do that, you're going to click on the little box. It's right here. And once you click on the box, you're going to see on over here, you're going to see a lot of the choices that you can choose from. And you guys remember those short codes that I was showing you guys on the sites? Mm -hmm. Well, here they are. I've got one question. Mm -hmm. Can a real estate business use this theme? Oh, absolutely. Anybody, anybody can use this theme. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'll show you guys the, uh, the demos for the... Um, they, they have these uh, demos for specific niches. And I know they have one for like menus, uh, but I'll show I'll show all that. And I think they're developing yeah. even more demos now. In, in but right now there's only like four. In relation to his question, like he mentioned uh, real estate, if you you take your own photos, how easy is it to input those photos if you want to show the the outside of the house? Oh, really easy. Yeah, yeah really easy. The, again, you're going to do it with Cornerstone. So let's just say let, let's just take a look at the, uh, if you want to put a, an image. So we're going to go here to image. Yeah, and it's actually uh, in alphabetical order. Yeah, so, and all you do, and the, this will blow your mind. You click on here, you click it, and you drag it, and there you go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And of course, we're, we're having a little connection problem, but and then to make the changes to the page, you just click it, and you see it changes. So you can uh, affect the style. Remember how I was showing you on images that you can do like round or rectangle? Okay. Can you, you have use something like similar, like you want to show like a Photoshop to kind of lighten or sharpen the image? No. No. No, no. Yeah, you, you can't do that. Yeah. So you have to do that yeah. <laughs> and actually, it's very awesome. Come on. Come on. Give me some Photoshop and then you just jump. Well, somebody yeah. saw that you can use something easy and something difficult. Yeah. But you were saying how to replace the images, then all you do is just click on that, and you see where it says source, then you just click on the plus, and, and then you go to your media. Yeah. Yeah. And you just insert it from there. Yeah. And you have a media folder. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. And, and a good tip, guys, I mean, if you guys learn this, you can actually sell the service to anybody. Right. You can build a stuff with somebody else for like a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, spend yeah. maybe five hours. Just don't don't tell them how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs> spend well, five it, hours it, and make it, like a you know like looks a forty hours of work. Yeah, but oh, but it is. It is. It looks and it is. Easy, but yeah. 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 you go deep, it's yeah. not so easy. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes, as a, as a business owner, not as a developer, as a business owner, you gotta reduce the time and double the benefit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the X team is really going to help you with that. It's going to help you get wow. things done faster, and that's why the, the, that's why I really love the cornerstone because you can have a page done in like just a couple of minutes. All you have to do is just have kind of an idea of what you yeah, want, and then just the, just drag. Yeah, and if you get stuck, you always can ask for it. Yeah, there you go. We, we, <laughs> absolutely, we absolutely. And if you got too many questions. Yeah, but you have to have already the plan and the material. Yeah, and, and, and the that's a good point. Exactly, exactly. How more or less you want the a visual, a visual the, idea of what you want to show. The right. The structure and what yeah. you what you want the. Now, what I do recommend is whenever you uh, install the uh, the X team, I would just create a page and just play around with these shortcodes. Just drag them and see what they do, and play around with some of the settings. Just just play with it. And just so you can get an idea of like, oh, I really like this feature. I'm going to have to remember that. And then after that, then figure out, okay, what, how many pages do I want? What do I want? And prepare the content. Once you have all of that taken care of, especially once you have all the content already ready, then doing the page itself is going to be super simple. You just drag and plug in and, you know, uh, copy and paste the text a, and a, done. A photo album. Can I do a photo album? Uh, probably one of the short codes. Okay. Yeah, um, you can also do like slider revolution. You can do it from there as well too. 
So uh, once you uh, go back in here and you have the changes, like for each of the, the short coats is gonna have the different things that you can change, like on the image, you can add a link to it, obviously. You can do a popover or a tooltip. You can do that from here. A or description for the image, like the alt text that you do in WordPress. Yeah, there's a place for the alt text. You have it right oh, here. So the disability yeah. number. Yeah, so you have all of that here. And now, um, so. Oh, yeah, so now let's go ahead and, and choose another one. So I'm gonna click on my second column and all I'm doing is clicking on the box. And as soon as I click on the box, it takes me to the element section. So we can just look around and just see anything that we wanna look for. But now let me give you guys a, a tip on this as well. Whenever you are, there's certain short codes that are kind of wide. So you, you have to be aware of that. Like for example, the pricing list is kind of wide. Uh, so you want to go ahead and do the columns based on that. You don't want to have a really small column for a really big uh, pricing list, for example. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. And again, all of this here is alphabetical order, so be under price okay. list, pricing table. Okay. So I click it and I just drag it over to the second column. And see how this, oh. yeah, this may not be the best uh, 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 element to put in this column because it's so small. Mm -hmm. So for the pricing table, for example, you, you may want to just have just one well, solid yeah, column and, so it can be bigger. Numbers, mm -hmm. yeah. Now let's just say that, oh, okay, I really don't like it. So just click on here, delete. Yep, there you go. Sure. You can just add another one. So let's take a look at some other stuff. Because like I said, I really, really love Cornerstone. And it was just so much fun just playing around with the different elements and just to see what, what comes up. You have um, uh, like buttons. If you wanted to add a button, you could do that. Let's see, um, the card was kind of interesting too. Uh, the card, what it does is like, uh, it gives you a block and then you put your mouse on it and it flips it. So kind of like, you, like an index card. Uh, you, you have some text on it and then you put your mouse on it and it flips it and it gives you some uh, like the back so that that's that was that was kind of cool to play with like a real Rolodex mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> uh, you can even add the contact uh, contact form 7 it's already here already for you as well you can add a counter uh, let's see what other stuff translation the English to Spanish on the form uh, no I think you need you need something else for that I did it with in a regular yeah. preview. But, um, now, uh, also again with the with the price list, like the Google Map, you may not want to give a really oh, small yeah. column for a map. For for example, that might be a little bit too small. But let's see what else do we have here. <coughs> the revolution slider, a recent post, a search, a video player, skills bar. This is the one that, that I kind of like that I used on mine. And again, you just click it and you just drag it over. And here, all you do now is to make it to personalize it, you click on the element itself. And once you click on the element, then you get a whole bunch of stuff here to, to make the changes. You can change the, the title, you can change the text, and then you, know, you can just duplicate it if you wanna have more skills. You can change the background, you can do all sorts of things. Background too. Yeah, and so you can see how I navigate it. All I have to do is just click on the next column, and it takes me back again to, to elements. Let's see what else can I show you guys in here? Lock. The what? A lock. That lock. Lock. Yeah, yeah. protect. Um, I'm not sure what this one would be. I, I guess if you want to protect a certain uh, section, I don't know why you would use that for. That's that's kind of. Maybe a stretch one. Use AVG or something. Yeah. Your firewall. I don't know. Mm. Oh, I looked at it on the other day. There's restricted content login. Yeah. So it's for it's not personal login. Yeah, exactly. Else. Exactly. Are you giving your customers? Yeah. So the that's uh that's really cool right there. But um here's another thing that Cornerstone can do for you. So as all of you guys know, we are now moving to having websites be seen properly on mobile devices. I mean, right now that's kind of really important, and not just 
for your, your, your customers or the people you're doing this for or just anybody, it's very important that it looks really good on a desktop and it looks really good on a mobile device. So let's just say that you're doing a, a page and you're like, okay, I want to be able to see what it looks like on all the different, all the different medias. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the section here. I'm sorry, I'm going to go over to this right here, this button right there. You, I click on that, and right now it's showing me what it's going to look like on a desktop, but this one is going to show me what it looks like on a laptop, on a tablet in landscape mode, a tablet in portrait mode, and mobile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so instead of having to resize your window, you just click on here, and it's going to show you exactly, exactly what it's going to look like. Now here's the, I was telling you guys about the visibility. Let me show you guys in here. You have to go, let me take it back to desktop mode, okay. You have to highlight the section, that's very important. And then once you highlight the section, you guys see this down here, it says hide base on screen width. So let's just say that I have this page on the desktop and it's looking great, but I take it over to the, the phone and the skill bar that doesn't show up very well for some reason. All I have to do is literally just click on that. Hold on. You gotta make sure to, you gotta make sure you click on this section. <coughs> you said that doesn't look good. And that says then you just all you do is click on it. And then to be able to see if it actually took, you go back again to this down here. You click on mobile and it's no longer showing up and it's gone. Okay, so do that again. How do you, sure. How do you uh, use it? Sure, let me, let me go ahead and do it again. So let's just say that, that uh, actually, let me add an, an, uh, another section so we can see things better. I'm going to add a section here. I'm going to go ahead and put. Google Maps. Let me just do that. Okay, so I have two sections. So let's just say that the map is not shown properly <coughs> on, on a mobile device. What, it, what you have to do is to disable this on a mobile device, you have to click on the section itself. So you click on the section, and then when you do that, it's already gonna give you the option down here to this will turn off. Mm -hmm. So let's just say you don't wanna see it on the I mobile see. device, you, all you do is click on it right there, and then to find out, because right now we're still seeing on, on desktop view, but to, to see it, what it looks like on a mobile device, mm -hmm. you go again down here to, to this icon, you click on it, and you click on cell phone, and you can see it's no longer there. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Why your title is cut off? Because um, I didn't do a good job in uh, shortening it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I make it a little. Bit, I made it a little bit just a, too big for the. For the, for the yeah. 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 I, I just need to change that up a little bit. So that is the visibility aspect of this. Now you can also go over to settings and you can add your own custom CSS. So this is where you can add it in. Now it also has settings for the WordPress settings and X settings. Um, I for the, for this I really I really don't go here. I actually go into the dashboard itself and make the changes there. Okay. So let me go ahead and change it back up again. Take it back over to desktop view. Okay. So um, let me talk about a little bit about what the templates are. So let's just say that you're doing a page and you're like, I have no idea what to do with it. I don't know how to design it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a template. Now, before you decide on using this, you have to be very careful because if you already have content here and if you choose template, it will erase your content. So whatever you, it's just doing a, a page. It's so, empty, the template is empty. Yeah, so the template will take over and it'll tell you. So if you click on template, uh, I'm going to do, let's just say, the, the menu, for example. And I hit insert. 
Using a page will erase your current page contents. Are you sure you wish to proceed? So whenever you're using a template, make sure that you use it on a blank page. That's very important. And say, yep. And look, look what it's doing. Your templates are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, templates are awesome. But, and see right here? So if you have a restaurant, if you're doing a website for a restaurant, this would be a, a perfect uh, thing for you to just start it off with. So instead of you having to add everything and add all the elements, it are, it's already doing it for you. All you got to do is just go to the different areas and all you're doing is clicking. So if you want to start over with a section, you click on section. And if you want to add your margin, your background, uh, your padding, border, this is where you're going to make the changes. But now if you want to do each individual section within that section, like the, the headline, you click on the headline, and here's where you're gonna change the text. And see how quickly, once you change it on the left, how quickly it changes on the right. And you can uh, make it whichever heading level you want. So, and if you don't want a certain element, you can go ahead and take it out as well. So let's take a look at some other templates. Over here, template, and I'm gonna do pricing plans for example. I hit insert and it's going to erase everything that I already did and here's the pricing plans and of course on this one you can just click on it to make it your own uh, your own content. You have your frequently asked questions and everything like that. Okay so now let's just say that you did this and you're like well you know I kind of want to add some stuff to it so there's called blocks Thinko blocks and they're down here. So let's just say that you wanted to add, uh, I don't know, a counter, a two column ca counter. You click on that and you insert it. And this one, the difference between the pages and the blocks is that this is gonna add it underneath what the, the template itself was created. So even the templates you can customize further. So this is what the uh, original template had, just the, the pricing plans and the frequently asked questions. But now the blocks, uh, when I inserted them, it inserted here on the bottom. So blocks won't er erase your content, pages will erase your content. Okay. So questions about Cornerstone. Uh, let me show you guys one other thing too. So let's just say that you have these three sections and you want to move things around. Let's just say that you want your counters to be on top. All you got to do is just click it and drag it up. And there you go. That's how you see this to move. And the counter have the options or is yeah, you, uh, that's you, it and that's it? Yeah, no, no. All you, oh. you do, whenever anything, any elements that you put in here, or you just click on the element itself and you get all of the, the, the different choices that you can you can make, you can change. So who really who likes Cornerstone now? <laughs> I'm telling you, if you, if you have the content and if you uh, if you have kind of an idea of what shortcuts and elements that you want on it, you can do a website probably in, in like in a few hours. That would so. replace in certain sense calling CSS to change what I want. Yeah, yeah. if you want to add the CSS, you just go over here to settings, to custom CSS, and you just add it, add it right here. So it gives you that option. Now, uh, whenever you're, so let's just say that I'm like, I did this page and I really like it. The, the one cool little quirk that they have here is when you save it, I'm gonna save it. I'll say "you hoo" or "yippee" or "hooray." <laughs> so that, that's kind of a cute little thing that I have there. Huh? Where, where, where did you whenever you save it, and you go down here to save. Whenever you save it, oh, it'll, it'll give you like a, a big bar, and it'll give you like you know a really cute cool little uh, cute, cute little statement. So uh, so we have this page saved. Now to get back to the dashboard, all you have to do is go where it says home. You just click on home, and it'll take you back to the dashboard. That dashboard is the regular book. Yeah, the regular one. Yeah. And then you're back to what you're doing here. <coughs> so 
So any questions about cornerstone? Is it clear as mud? Okay. So I mean, just just for the cornerstone alone is worth the the X team. Regardless of all the other stuff, just the cornerstone alone is uh, amazing. <coughs> So now we're going to, uh, we talked to us about templates, uh, we talked a little bit about demos, let me show you guys where you can find the demos. You go, go back again, again to your, to your dashboard, you go again to add-ons, and you click on demo content. So you can click over there just to see what it's up, but again, please be very careful. If you have a current site up, if you have pages, and if you have content and everything like that, be very leery about this here. I, I wouldn't do it if I were you. <laughs> I, it's like if you're doing a new site, go go for it. You know, download whatever you want. But if it's an existing site, even the, the people um, in, uh, in ThemeCo will tell you that they don't recommend it. And you can see here you have the standard demos and you have expanded demos. And this is what I was telling you guys about the, that it's the, the different clicks. So let me see. Where's the extended demos? I thought I had it open, but I didn't. Oh, yeah, and it also integrates really very well with, uh, with uh, WooCommerce. I was going to ask you that. It integrates through uh, not the Cornerstone, but through the other one. Uh, what is it? What do you use for uh, the Visual Composer? Visual Composer. Yeah. That's what integrates with Woo WooCommerce. So right. Take that Visual uh, Composer away. That's a good question. Um, I mean, that's all WooCommerce now. Right. Uh, considering they they integrated really well with Woo WooCommerce, I would think that Cornerstone would be replacing that. So if you already have stuff that you did in Visual Composer, well, when you go to the pages and it says Edit with, mm -hmm. you can edit. We can't edit with Cornerstone on a, on a product page. You can only edit with Visual Composer. But right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure that's going to be changing because oh, I see. You're yeah. To see how yeah, because even with Visual Composer, um, because it's a bunch of shortcodes. Yeah, do you remember installing the plugin for the shortcodes? No. When it, whenever you did the Visual Composer, okay. Uh, I, I remember, but it's there. I mean, I can yeah. I pull them up. Yeah. When uh, whenever I first downloaded, again, this was in February. Quite a few things changed since then. But uh, when I uh, installed it, um, it asked me to install the plugin for shortcodes, and now um, they're telling you to go ahead and delete it because of Cornerstone. So, like I said, Visual Composer is going away. I mean, it may not be next month, or it, it, may, be, it may take them a year, but I'm sure they're gonna be changing things oh, up with the WooCommerce. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Demos, okay, go to demos. Extended demos, okay. So, the, um, now the difference between regular demos, the standard demos, and expanded demos is whenever you're downloading a demo, it will not also download the pictures because they're proprietary, so they're not going to install it. Do what the the extender demos? Uh -huh. what, uh, what if you do decide to download the demo, it will not include the La the, the the pictures that they're using on, on their website. Porque son tuyas. Yeah, because it's theirs. So what they're going to do is just they give you a, a little block saying, "Oh, it's 420 by 320 or whatever." But, but with the expanded demos, everything is included. You have the pictures and you, whatever they have, they have it all in there. And here are the four different uh, niches that you can use. Churches, restaurant, um, spa, spa, agency, education. Oh, they've added education since uh, I last saw this. So they can constantly keep adding it. So let's take a look at, um, I don't know, let's take a look at, restaurant for example let's click on their demo yeah so this here if you download their demo this is what you're gonna get and then you just go in and and see these are the cards that I was yeah. telling you guys about this is kind of really cool yeah, yeah. so um, and all you have to do is obviously you can, yeah you're just gonna replace your background your colors your text your pictures you're gonna just replace all of it but the layout is already there for you 
So, bam. Okay. And again, they are adding quite a few more. Okay, so now that you've seen all the awesome features, so where can you get it? So let me show you guys where you can go and get it. In Bato. Yeah, in Bato, exactly. <laughs> and hopefully I'm not going to start sounding like a like an infomercial. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for a low, low price of $64. <laughs> so you go to the uh, in Bato uh, market, uh, theme so forest. Is that $64 for one website or? Just one website. Just one. Yeah, just one website. Yeah. That's a one-time game. Yeah, yeah. Still worth it. Yeah, oh yeah, still worth it. Considering how much time. Yeah. That's it. Yep. So you go over to Theme Forest under uh, Vital Market, and you just go to X Theme. You just type that in there, and here it is. You just go ahead and uh, pay for it, and uh, you download it. Obviously, you need to have an account with uh, uh, with these guys here. Now, um, I'm going to give you guys a, a little thing that I had a problem with. Now, this, again, this was in February when I downloaded the theme. I'm not sure if it's still the same way. But when I downloaded it, obviously, um, when you download it, you get a zip file. And they said that, okay, the zip file, that's what you're going to put in the dashboard to download the X theme. So I did that, and it wasn't working for me. I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? I downloaded the, the, the zip file, and I put it in the appropriate place, and it still didn't work. Well, what happened was that the zip file itself had another zip file inside of that zip file. Mm. No, it doesn't. Not anymore? I did it this morning before the class. It okay, so they changed that. Click it and yeah. it's up Okay, over. perfect. Because for me, that was the problem that I was having. And come to find out that there was the zip file and then all the PSD files and everything was including. So I was trying to upload that entire zip file over to, the, uh, uh, to WordPress and it, it didn't take it. But I'm glad they fixed that. Yeah, because that's problematic there, for me. You get, there's two options. You can download everything mm -hmm. or the installable. If you download the installable, you just click on it and yeah. it pops. Perfect. Exactly. See, I didn't, I didn't do that at that time. So I was like, oh my God, I panicked because I had paid <laughs> for it and I'm like, oh no. But, but I, yeah, I had it uh, and I had not used it at all. So I'm like, yeah. uh, nah. So I'll, now do, I'll use, deal with that later. You're going to use it now, right? Yes. Okay, there you go. I have a question. It sure. seems that uh, in order to use it, I have to go and register and get the API key and etc. Yes, you do. So that's how they, they make sure that you yeah, only uh, use it once and, and exactly. only once. Exactly. Yeah, let, let me show you. Yeah, yeah, you can move it, yeah. but yeah. not have it for two, three different times. So it's under part of the validation. So yes, that. Exactly. Yeah. But again, you get so much stuff with it mm -hmm. that for me, even if it's just a website, you know, it's it's good. That way you cannot repeat the same yeah. theme yeah. or the same right. for another site. Yeah. But um, if you're doing this for a client, just charge them $64. Sure. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> just, I mean just, just, charge it for it. just put it in the... Yeah, just put it in the pricings. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't have to tell them just, you, you, you sell for a thousand, but like, you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> now um, on the presentation I also have another uh, page for resources so uh, let me show you guys the um, these are great stuff yeah so like the showcase here you go in the showcase and all of these websites are using oh. the X theme oh, nice. so, so you get a lot of ideas yes wow. so not only that that other page that I gave you guys that, that divided the okay here's uh, just 304 now you go in here and you can even do more so let's just say that you're like okay I really like the renew theme because you're just so, giving an idea I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. on training using that theme yeah. Yeah, don't do plagiarism. Plagiarism. I don't know how we can even do that. Now, um, when, whenever I first started with the X team, I couldn't find a lot of videos. But now there's tons and tons of videos. Awesome. On YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube. Wow. And I've included videos. a couple of them. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, Discover Why X uh, is the ultimate WordPress theme of 2015. Visual Composer being killed. Um, I included that. And how to design a WordPress website. Nice. So this will give you even more detailed information than what I just gave you. I just gave you just a little bit of a blurb of what you can get for the X theme. And uh, I I yeah, I forgot to mention I'm in no way affiliated with them, so I'm not getting paid for them. So I just didn't have a coupon that's with your name. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, you provided so much value, you should have an affiliate thing. Yeah, there you, you go. There you go. I should go and talk yeah. to them. 
Did you have a question? Yeah, I want to see a night show. Um, but what I gather is the XP comes with all the different plugins that you were talking yes, about. Yes, yes, it comes with all, all the different stations. Four dollars. Covers all it comes with everything. Yes, okay. you don't have to worry about. It. And even with the the extensions that they have, you don't even have to worry about the updates because they, yeah. they do all that for you. Yeah, the yeah that's the best part. part. Yeah. 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 The update for WordPress. They just have they to install it. it. It's right yeah. there, and you just gotta click yeah. install. And uh, just like that with the with Cornerstone, just remember that you you do have to install Cornerstone. But you just go over to the uh, to the extensions area and dashboard, and you just click install, and then that's all you gotta do, and then you have it. Yeah. Yeah. They update yeah. the WordPress automatically? No, they update the extensions. Yeah, ex the yeah, extensions yeah, automatically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you don't have to worry about, I mean, I'm constantly seeing, you know, things that I got to update for other plugins that I have, and it's annoying me. But with the, all of the plugins, the cornerstone and stuff, I don't have to worry. They, they, they do all that for me. I do have one other question. Mm -hmm. um, from what I, what I saw there, um, are you familiar with the GoDaddy website builder? No, no, I'm not. I don't know much about GoDaddy. It seems a lot like the, um, the page builder that you were showing us. Oh, really? Yeah. Like so did they steal the idea from them then? No, 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 but the problem with that, uh, the issue with that, you don't have full ownership. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's only, uh, yeah. But it's very easy. Yeah. You don't have full ownership. So if you start paying them, look at that. Yeah, because you own it. It's, it's very, it. very simple oh. way, but no, it okay. doesn't look as gorgeous as this. Okay, good. All right, so basically that's all I have for you guys. If you have any other the types of questions, please feel free to ask. No, they uh, just changed the uh, uh, support too. After six months, you would, they want you to pay, and that's a that was a new thing that Avado uh, brought on. Yeah, um, I, I heard about that. I heard yeah. that. Uh, but you can still go to the forums. Yeah, you still go to the forums. I mean, I, I'm not logged in, and I can still go in and get everything. I just can't ask a question after the. Uh, won't answer the question. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's like what nineteen dollars or yeah nineteen dollars yeah. for mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. nineteen dollars yeah. how much is it sixty four yeah the theme itself is sixty four dollars but then uh, you get like the the six months uh, of free support but then after that you got to pay for the support but uh, you really uh, after the six months you're not really gonna need it yeah. even even so, if you pay for the support it's a good investment look at yeah. it as an investment <laughs> yeah. so I don't know if the periscopers have any questions I guess uh, not guess not. So yep. everything is very clear then. Okay. <laughs> All, All right, right well, thank you guys again. Cool. All right, folks, thanks uh, Thanks for staying for like, what, almost an hour. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave the question here. I'll check it into and respond it to you. So, But if you guys need a copy, do let me know. Send me a direct messages, and I'll send you a copy of the presentation. And in probably a few minutes, I'll probably go back online. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. Take care.